hospitalizations have been on the downward trend for nearly two weeks now. Good news, but state health leaders are advising us to take that good news with a grain of salt. Jessica Rank joins us in studio tonight. And Jessica, they are saying we should still be sticking to the same safety practices when it comes to COVID. Yeah, Laura and Bob, and the big one is going to be masks. A lot of school districts and restaurants now taking down these requirements, but leaders at the state the health department say that's not such a good idea. Doors are open and more feet cross the pavement. But inside windows, you'll notice signs like these are few and far between. In my view, with COVID, you can't say anything safely. Businesses and even school districts letting guards down and doing away with mask requirements as COVID cases and hospitalizations trend in our favor. Overall numbers are down just a bit. UAMS reported 65 COVID patients Monday down from its peak of nearly 100 in January. And around the state, people in hospital beds down 20% from last week. The hospitalizations right now are still very high. They're about as high as they got in uh, last August when we had our Delta surge. Health leaders say they're fearful too many have their eye on the finish line. You know, you've got a mule pulling a cart down the street and they got blinders on. You know, that's what I see people doing. They're putting blinders on and ignoring the fact, you know, numbers are down, but 65 people at the hospital at UAMS with COVID is not a low number. They say people need to remember there's still more of the track to run. When you hit the peak of a surge, you're just halfway there. And for them, that means masks and social distancing should stay, at least for now. We're not out of the woods yet. Things are better, but better doesn't mean gone. Now, UAMS says there's not an exact number attached to the end of masks. Instead, they're going off comfortability and what they're seeing behind hospital doors. Now, if we do come out of the surge, which is what health leaders are hoping for, you're going to make sure to keep these guys around because you're going to want to wear one should numbers go up again. Reporting in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.